everyone. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. I saw somebody talking about my internet in the chat. Yes, let's cross our fingers that it's going to hold up today. I've had really good luck the last two days. I'm thinking maybe it's fixed. I don't know. Hopefully. But I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I'm really excited to dive back into our Pleasant View stream. Oh, and that reminds me, let me bring up the spreadsheet here. So this morning, I have been on a downloading spree, y'all. Hello, hello. Hello, I'm doing well, Eva. Yes, I have meaningful stories. Yes, I do. Or no, 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 not meaningful stories. Sorry. I, d I decided not to do meaningful stories. I got Carl's gameplay overhaul. I'm going to try that one first to see if I like it better. Hey, everybody. Hey, Gigi. Welcome. Glad you could make it to a live. Okay, so yeah, I got Carl's gameplay overhaul instead of meaningful stories, and we're going to try that out today. Okay, we're trying out several new mods today. It's going to be an experiment. So I got uh, Carl's gameplay overhaul. I got the Milestones, Milestones Expanded mod. I got, oh, I didn't get whim overhaul though. I didn't get whim overhaul. I got um, realistic childbirth and smarter pie menu. Okay, so hopefully, I think that's all I got. Yeah. So we're going to be trying these out today. Hopefully we'll have a child so we can uh, try out the childbirth mod because I'm really, I, I watched the little video of it and I'm super excited about it. Let me get the game going here. Um, but those are all, like, mods that were either recommended to... Well, they were all mods that have been recommended to me on the streams and stuff. So, um, I'm excited to try them out. Emma, you're CC shopping. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much, Erin. Okay, for the nine-month Prime sub. I'm so happy you could catch a stream, too. Um, I've got the game loading. Hopefully, EA, EA app won't be a little bitch today. <laughs> you have so many mod recommendations. Well, recommend away. <laughs> I've got like sticky notes. I've got so many sticky notes just all over, all over the place. I've got sticky notes for like mods that people recommend me. So this morning I was like, I'm going to get those mods. So hopefully that will help kind of improve like the relationships and stuff. Uh, or the, not relationships, but the emotions. Because that's the big problem I have with The Sims 4. It, it, the emotions are just not tuned well. But if we could get that working, I feel like it could be really fun. You hope for a burglar in the Goth Manor? You had one? Instead of being robbed, a burglar wanted to bang Cassandra? <laughs> well, I mean, I can't blame him. Okay, so also on the spreadsheet here, I need to uh, move around. So Cassandra has moved in with Dodd. So I need to update that. And um, let me see here. Just give me one second. And I'll show you guys the spreadsheet that we're starting out with. I also have the spreadsheet on my website. If you like to use spreadsheets the way I do and um, keep track of all your sims. Now I decided, one thing I did differently though, and I need to update this on my website, is I decided not to keep track of their likes and dislikes in the spreadsheet because it just gets too tedious and it's really not that necessary. Um, so yeah, I've decided to stop doing that. I don't keep up with their likes and dislikes anymore. I just keep up with their traits. Okay, let me do the Caliente. All right, that should do it. Dina is now Dina Goth and Cassandra is now Cassandra Lothario. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, did I say thank you, Raisin and Sneakers, for 11-month Prime Sub? Thank you if I didn't. Thank you, BPOS312, for the 18 months at Tier 1. Uh, cheered me up seeing this notification. Nice to see you, Cindy. Oh, thank you. Nice to see you, too. Fingers crossed for Fundy, Lucy Burb. Okay, hold on. What is this text? Oh, I have my spa appointment tomorrow. Uh, oh, I gotta hydrate. I'm gonna hi I got McDonald's for lunch, so I'm gonna hydrate with my Diet Coke. <laughs> yes, I did play through all the scripted ev events, Fruit Sleaze. Um, and I, po I published the last two streams. They're all published on Pleasant Streams, if you want to go back and watch them. Um, I've done four streams in the save file so far. Well, actually, it was two streams, but it ended up being broken into four. But they're all on, on ple Pleasant Streams. Pleasant streams. Oh, my God. Um, 
Yeah, see, that's the thing, MP3 Froggy. They get they started to get so many likes and dislikes that it just became too much for me to keep up with on the spreadsheet. But like you said, if I feel like one is important or something, I might put it in here as like a note. Thank you so much, Sir H.C. Azeroth, for the four months at Tier 1. Thank you very much. Present streams. <laughs> That's what I said, I think. I think I said present streams. <laughs> Lucy will always be a fundamentalist to me now with a wild side. I know, she is to me too. She's totally fundy. Hello, Carmi. Carmi? Uh, okay, so let me see. Let me get, let me see what, how the game's going. Pack download in progress. Oh, that's right, because I got the little campers pack um, from a subscriber. Thank you so much for that. It did work. So let's load up our game here. We got um, Pleasant View on Twitch. And before we get started, I will show you guys what the spreadsheet looks like so far. I think I got it set up correctly here. Yeah. So today we're going to be playing Dawn and Cassandra. We're starting with round one. And if we get through their round, we'll move on to Mortimer and Dina and Alex. All of your Sims dislike to cook, so yay me. Everyone's having snacks. <laughs> Lucy became a fundy. She just went that direction. I don't know. We'll see if she ends up the same way. Oh, yes. I'm getting that crystal pack. D you better believe it. Isn't it coming out in a few days? Oh, I'm getting that. Definitely. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me see. We got the game up here. Let me show you guys real quick the uh, spreadsheet. Comes out the 29th. That's what I thought. I thought I was thinking 28th, but 29th, yeah. Awesome. So, uh, let me get you guys over to the game here. Stare into the blackness while I change the game. Um, change it to Sims 4. There we go. Stare into my void. Okay, and here is our spreadsheet so far. So, right now, we're on rotation zero. Actually, we're starting rotation one. Thank you, Danny, for saying you love my content so much. Yeah, it's probably going to be an update that can break mods. That is true. I hate that. Dang it. Um, so, yeah, here's what we're playing. Dawn and Cassandra today. And you can see all of their stats here. So, I guess I don't really need to put anything else here. Now, I haven't decided in The Sims 4 if I'm going to do the same thing that I did do in The Sims 2 with capping how many children they have. I haven't quite decided on if I'm going to make that a rule yet or not. I guess let's go through this round and see how many kids we end up having. Thank you so much, uh, Steph B. Sims, for the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get started, y'all. We are starting over here in the Goth Mansion with Dawn and Cassandra. This lot has good, tra good schools. And fast internet. So they live in a very nice neighborhood over here in Pleasant View. This is the Sim Lane neighborhood. The historical section of Pleasant View features homes with unique architecture and beautiful views. We have two empty houses over here. Oh, and by the way, I still never saved Doc Allen's hangout. You know what? Let me do that right now. Let me just do that right now. Just took out the trash. Yay, chores done. I need to take out my trash too. I'm gonna, I gotta do some chores after I finish streaming. I gotta go pick up groceries and then do some chores around the house. Um, okay, so let me save the, let me, uh, save this lot. Doc Allen's Hangout. It is not modded. Okay, there's not custom content in this, so I don't know why it says that. So if you want to download this, you will have to search for... Lots with custom content, but I promise you it doesn't. Oh, it does. It has the um, It has the hot tub. It does have custom content. It has the hot tub But you can download it without that and just put one of the hot tubs from the game So don't worry you can still use this. So I'm gonna put uh, Doc Allen's hangout Remodeled From the Sims 2 apartment life wasn't it? Didn't it come with apartment life? Okay, no, this is this is a bar. It doesn't have beds and baths. Save lot to my library. And can I? I want to share it. Share lot to the gallery. Okay, there you go. So that's shared. I'm Pleasant Sims on the gallery. If anybody wants this for, if you're playing my Pleasant View and you want this in your world, 
like I said, the only custom content are the hot tubs, but you don't have to use those. Okay, now let's get started. Um, I do not use neighborhood stories. I don't know if that's what you were asking, but. And hopefully we can have some pregnancies and we won't have the same problem that we were having in our um, random legacy challenge. I got to check into this. And another thing I want to do is I put NPCC back in here. And Mary actually told me that what she did to fix the problem, she was having the same problem where the people were not showing up. So what I want to do is go do what she said. She said that she went to, um, let me see, where are the settings? Where are the settings? Aliens, sick pets, tragic clowns. I just want to make sure, I want to see who's not generated and then sim settings maybe um do she said that she un she unchecked do not generate new sims and after a while the sims actually started showing up i don't want this to generate new sims but hopefully it won't because i do have most of the uh npc jobs created and if they do i'll just delete them so no big deal so easy to delete sims in the sims 4 um, I gotta ask me anything. Are you going to do the Pleasant Vista apartments? Yes, I am. Once I I haven't finished them yet, uh, but once I finish them, yes, I am. The lot's not finished, but once the lot's finished, I'm gonna save it. Um, I'm actually gonna try to work on that. Maybe I'll try and work on that tonight. Um, I got nothing going on in my life tonight, so maybe we'll try and work on that. Uh, hey, Zoe. Yeah, there probably is a conflict, Alaria. I don't know. I needed it to set all of the NPC jobs. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes this time. Okay, so here we are with Dawn and Cassandra. It's 6 a.m. on Friday morning. So we need to remember that we're starting on Friday morning. I am going to put that in the spreadsheet. Start on Friday. So that means we'll play Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And we will switch Tuesday. I'm going to put switch Tuesday. Because I'm only playing each household for four days. So that we can get through the the rounds faster. Because doing one week is just seems to be too much when I'm streaming. Um, Secondhand says, are you having the townies age during the first household, household of the round? Yes, I am. And thank you for reminding me of that. Um, let's go to game options. And let's go to auto age, not unplayed households. Auto age... Well, yeah, I guess unplayed. I guess I want to I want to auto age unplayed households, right? Because all of the households are yeah, 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 okay. Um so we're going to auto age unplayed unplayed households only for the first 4 days. And I am going to write in my spreadsheet to make sure and switch or turn off aging. Turn off townie aging. Um when we get to the next round. So I just have to keep detailed notes so I can keep everything in sync, y'all. All right, here we go. Uh, Danny says, I turned on both my neighborhood stories and MC Command Center story progression. It's not working. Hmm, I don't know why it would. It should be. Uh, it may be settings that you have set in MC Command Center preventing it. That sounds like what it probably is to me. Okay, so Don here, he uh, wants to woohoo with Cassandra. So we got to get that woohoo on, y'all. And Cassandra, let's see if she has any wants. Study language and... Well, she's already gone to college, so I wish she wouldn't get that wish. Um, volunteer with family and share ideas. So she's also trying to go play chess right now. But it's time for the woohoo, Cassandra, all right? Uh, thank you so much, Smilla... Sm Samilla Chan for the prime sub. Thank you so much. So Dawn has to go to work in four hours, or Cassandra has to go to work in four hours. She's a junior tinkerer in the science career, and Dawn has to go to work in three hours, but they still have time for a woohoo. They have time to get their woohoo on before they got to go to work. So let's have Dawn, um, let's do romance and physical intimacy. And they're going to do um, just a regular woohoo. 
And it sh hopefully Risky Woohoo is working. I know, I can't believe she doesn't want babies. She needs to want babies. Cassandra. Dawn has learned Cassandra's woohoo interests. So I believe this is their first woohoo because they just got married last time we played them. I hope there will be a Lothario baby in this round. Who wants to do a prediction? Will Cassandra get pregnant this round? And I don't, wait, don't, don't, uh, vote yet. Hold on, don't do it yet. Let me look at her, uh, preferences and also her, uh, period tracker. Before we do the, before we do the prediction. Because I have no idea where she is in her cycle right now. Morning woohoo is the best, I know. <laughs> So they're having their little morning woohoo here. Hopefully that fulfills that wish for Dawn. I was having a problem with it not fulfilling the woohoo wish before. Or the try for baby wish is what it was. You think Maxis made Cassandra a no woohoo before marriage kind of girl? Yeah. Alright, let's speed this up, guys. Come on. Dawn's woohoo skill is getting better. He's getting better at the woohoo skill. Okay, he's hungry. He's gonna go cook some eggs and toast. Cassandra, how do you feel about that? Uh, oh yeah, it was first woohoo, and, uh, she liked it. She enjoyed it. She wants to try for baby! Yes! Yes, 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 y'all! She wants to try for baby. Okay, let's look at her period tracker real quick, and then you guys can do, and then we'll do a prediction. Um, because I just want you guys to know, like, where she's at. And hopefully this will work this time! A smaller piano came with growing together? Oh no, I didn't know that. Maybe I should replace the one they have. And also, they need to get, um, they have bank accounts, but I need to invest some of Cassandra's money. Okay, so currently she's at day eight of eight of her cycle, so she's not even going to be fertile for six days. So, just so you know, we're only playing them for four days, so I think the chances might be slim. But you can predict if Nathan wants to make a prediction for us. Um, if you activate woohoo skill at the beginning, they're going to lose so much relationship because of the poor skill. I don't really know. I haven't really noticed that. But it seems like Dawn was doing pretty well. Um, that's not his first woohoo. His first woohoo was Cassandra, but not his first woohoo at all. It made your Sims enemies, the woohoo skill did. Well, if I start having problems with it, I will, uh, I will get rid of it. Okay, Cassandra, what do you need, honey? You need to have, oh, she wants to have a child. She wants to have a child and try for a baby with Dawn. <laughs> but it might be next round. That sucks. Because of the cycle. Actually, yeah, I don't think we're going to need to cap babies because of the menstrual cycles. Because you can't just get pregnant any time. I don't think you're going to have to cap anybody. Alright, Don is making them some breakfast. He's all sweaty after that woohoo. Aw, thank you so much, Lord Crumps, for the 31 months at Tier 1. Thank you so much. Lurk. <laughs> you hate Coke Zero, but you like Diet Coke? Oh my god, not me. Uh, Cassandra, what are you up to, honey? Oh, she's warming herself by the fire. Oh, they don't have a thermostat, y'all. Let's get them a thermostat. And also, let's check out the smaller piano as well. Piano. I'm just going to search piano. Oh, this one right here? Yes, that one actually looks like the one from Sims 2 also. Okay, we're going to get rid of this one and we're going to give them this one. They have plenty of money. I never worry about their money. Wait, go th go this way. Go. No. No. Yeah, that one looks so much better because it looks like the one from Sims 2. I love it. Oh, their lashes. Dawn already has lashes, but I don't think we gave Cassandra lashes. Um, Let's go ahead and go into... Create a sim and give her some lashes. Yeah, I am insulin resistant and I gave up all sugar, but I couldn't give up Coke, so I still drink Coke Zero. Oh, thank you, Chloe. I'm so glad you like the lot. Okay, Cassandra, let's give you some face uh, details. 
and let's give you let's give you some nice pretty lashes no not those these no whoa those are big those are big boys oh i like those on her i like those on her there we go all right Well, I have Simon for Life asked, how did you find out you were insulin resistant? I ha I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, and one of the main causes is insulin resistance, so I got tested for it. Uh, I had to do the whole freaking test where they give you this nasty sugary drink, and they have to test your test you over a couple hours. Um, yeah, it sucked. What's the difference between being diabetic and insulin resistant? Um, well, with diabetes, your blood sugar is like your uh, A1C is five, is like six or above, I think is what makes you a diabetic. But you can be insulin resistant and not have your A1C be high. Because I never had, I was like pre-diabetic, but I never reached diabetic levels. Oh, and there is the prediction, y'all. So predict, predict, predict. All right, Dawn, finish up cooking your eggs and toast here, my friend. And can y'all hear the game, or you need me to turn it up? Who you had 510 blood sugar at the hospital? Whoa. <laughs> Happy lurking, Lord Grumps. It's a bit quiet. Okay, let me turn it up. I think I ended up turning it up to 30 on this one. I mean, there's not really anything to hear right now. Don, you you didn't make any for Cassandra, Don. Oh my God, Cassandra, get down here and make yourself some breakfast before work. Oh, she doesn't have much time. Let's just have her get a snack. Um, just have some cereal real quick since you don't have a lot of time before you got to go to work. I think we will go to work with Cassandra too. Hey, Sammy. Hey, Velada. Oh, you missed the stream yesterday. Yeah, he only made breakfast for himself, man. Dawn's being stingy again, y'all. All right, Cassandra's having her fruity pebbles or her Fruit Loops. That's the cereal. I need to get. I need to. Are there custom foods? Are there good custom foods for The Sims Four? Does sound on brand for Dawn. Yeah. Oh, and they need to hire a maid too. I, that's going to be Dawn's job. Oh, he's got to go to the. He's got to go to the toilet. And then once he gets done with that, I'm going to have him call, uh, where am I going? I'm going to have him call, uh, for service. Call for service, Don. Don needs to be serviced by the maid. Um, hopefully the maid shows up this time. Uh, scheduled maid. Because last time our maid did not show up. We need a, ba a maid. And a gardener. Yeah, we all know who he wants, which maid he wants to be serviced by. Okay, it says they're going to come on t at 10.05. Let's hope they show up. I, like, I'm actually having fun with Sims 4. The only problem I have is with the emotions, but I feel like if we can get that fixed, then it's going to be fun. Um, Dawn's hosp- Oh my god, should we go with Dawn or Cassandra? They both have active jobs. I guess we'll go with Dawn today. We'll go with Cassandra tomorrow. All right, we'll start with Dawn. Or no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go with Dawn. <clears throat> Hello, I need a maid. I should have rolled for it. Dang it. Hello, I need a maid who knows how to polish some pipes. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with Dawn today. We'll go with Cassandra tomorrow. We'll just take turns. It's not impossible to fix the emotions, no. And I did download Carl's gameplay overhaul right now. So hopefully that's going to help. We'll see once something happens that could actually cause strong emotions. We'll find out. Okay, NPCs are at the hospital. Andrea Hogan is working as the assistant. It's working. All right, Andrea Hogan is here. She's our assistant. We've got, uh, who the hell is that person? That person is does not should not exist. I'm pretty sure that's not a pleasant view person. Dang it. It's created somebody new. Okay, we'll have to get rid- We'll delete them. We'll get rid of them. 
We've got a uh, Herb Oldie here. It's an NPC from For Rent. Oh man, I maybe I didn't delete. Oh, did I not delete the the NPCs from For Rent? Maybe that's it. Okay, I'll have to check into that. I got a hydrate. And I got um I I got an ask me anything that says, let me go up so I can read it in the chat. Where is it? Where is it? Um, Rufinelli says, I always notice when you play this family that Cass gets to keep the majority of Mortimer's fortune instead of splitting it in half with Alex. Is that because you consider her his heir or just because of the Sims 2 limitations? It was originally because of the Sims 2 limitations, but I do consider her the heir. And also, when Alex, in, when Alex gets older, I do give him some of the money when he gets out of college. I do give him some. But also, in my mind, in my story, Alex kind of wanted to go out on his own and not be reliant on the family money. He wanted to make his own fortune instead of just living off of his dad's money. Okay. I did not get meaningful stories. I got Carl's gameplay overhaul. So we're going to see if that works. So Abjeet is here. Uh, I got Daniel Pleasant's here and little Brittany Oldie is here. Okay, good. So it's working pretty much with keeping all of my Pleasant View townies and uh, NPCs. The only thing is this guy, but we'll take care of him later. And so let's, Don, the first thing he needs to do is swab a patient for a sample. So we're going to come on in. And uh, I guess we'll start right here with the first room. We'll start with Herb Oldie. And let's, why can I not treat him? Why can I not swab him? Swab! Oh, I have to admit him to the bed. Okay. Uh, get blood work? I forgot how to do this! Okay, hold on. Let's press play for a second. There we go. Um, okay, now it just took a minute. Um, let's swab for sample. You gotta wait for them to sit down on the bed, I guess. Alright, so Don's gonna come in. His first patient here is Herb Oldie. I love this. Yeah, you had to wait for- I had to wait for him to sit down. I was getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Panya- Panya Lee is just an intern, yeah. He's from another town. Herb is a malingerer, I just know it. <laughs> okay, we got a swab. Now let's go analyze the swab. Come on, Don. Let's get over here and uh, analyze the swab. And I press play in between. I, I, I press pause in between because I don't want to waste any time like trying to find where I'm trying to send him to go uh, for his work day. So he's going to analyze his swab and go speed things up a little bit. <laughs> Don test Daniel. You have Kaylin's DNA in your mouth. Cassandra's off to work. Okay, analysis complete. Uh, so now we need to run tests on a patient until diagnose or scan. Let's scan the patient's body. Uh, scan body next. Don in here just being a doctor. I love it so much. I also want to check out the mod that give uh the mods that give more uh um active careers because I love the active careers. Herb has a nice fade going on. I know. Okay, Don, don't go work out, okay? It's not break time, man. He's like, all right, I'll scan you. I'm going to work out now, though. <laughs> Do I watch soap operas for inspiration for Sims? I don't, but I have read, uh, like, story plots and stuff. <laughs> okay, let's go check patient's ears. All right, let's see. Uh, check his ears, Don. He's like, never mind, coming back. Let me check your ears. I forgot real quick. Gotta check those spell. ears. <laughs> uh, Gemstone says I've heard there is an involved an involved that gives you an active career as a daycare owner oh that would be cool I would love that that would be great for Brandy Broke I think uh, Dawn is such a scumbag I know weak diagnosis available uh, okay a weak diagnosis I want a strong diagnosis let's go perform a treadmill test on him um, uh, where the heck's the treadmill at? Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh, Kaylin's here! Uh, alright. Use the social referral to this object on the patient. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna go to examine patient. No. Um. 
Medical referral, refer, refer for treadmill test. All right, sir. It's, all right, Herb. We got to do a treadmill test on you. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> yeah, Dawn, I'm pregnant. Oh, no. Oh, thank you, Abjeet. You're doing a great job here. He's an orderly. I love how Abjeet and Andrea Hogan work here. That's awesome. Andrea is the assistant. Oh, there's little uh, Bo Broke is here. Oh, no, Bo. Oh, no, Bo. <laughs> Herb likes Don's attention and care. He does. Don's a good doctor. He may be a terrible husband or boyfriend, but he's a good doctor. I always felt like Don would be good at his job. I feel like he probably gets a, you know, he's, it probably gets in his, gets to his head. He's like, I'm a doctor. That's how he picks up all these women. <laughs> he came to the hospital alone. I don't know. Brandy dropped him off. She's got kids to take care of. <laughs> you think Herb has burning belly? Don does have some kind of good in him. I love Don. I know he's a scoundrel. I know he's a dirty dog, <laughs> but I still love him. He's a good dad, too. He's always a good dad for me. He's always a good dad. He's a good doctor. He's just a terrible partner. Much to, uh, that's going to probably end up breaking Cassandra's heart. Okay, so we did the treadmill test. Did that count? Oh, he's still doing it. All right. Don is embarrassed from poor exam results. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The treadmill test on Herb is complete, but unfortunately, Don can not make any sense of the results. <laughs> Let's try to diagnose him. Weak diagnosis. We got bloaty head. We got sweaty shivers. Or starry eyes. I think we need to run more tests on Herb, y'all. I think we need to run more tests on him. Let's uh, let's wait for him to go back to his room. Don has not been able to figure out what's wrong with him yet. He's a great doctor, yes! Herb has a complicated case, okay? <laughs> hey, Divot. Um, Don is here doing his job. He's taking care of Herb Oldie right now. Okay, so let's examine and let's do... Um, we can check his eyes. Let's check his eyes. Don's a little embarrassed because he couldn't figure out what was Don with her wrong with her, but he's not going to give up. Great, thank you, Hendrick, for taking care of that. <laughs> decent chance diagnosis. Okay, we got a decent chance. Let's take his temperature. Come on, Don, you can do this. We can figure out what's wrong with him. You do all the tests, you figure out what's wrong. I don't know what that grumpy bot was. He has enough good examination data to give Herb Oldie a probable diagnosis at the exam bed. Further testing could increase his accuracy. So let's see. Let's, uh, I think there's one thing we haven't done. Let's discuss his general health. Ask him how he's been doing. What are his eating habits? Does he exercise? Is he a smoker? You got to ask him all those questions. Good job. And let's give him an x-ray. We're, we're going to get this down. He does have a compelling diagnosis, but I want to get, I want to make sure. See, this is, see, Don is a good doctor. He's going to do all the tests. Uh, we're going to do a medical referral for an x-ray scan. Don is thorough. <laughs> nope, not the Sims 2 Pleasant View, the Sims 4 Pleasant View. I really love playing the active jobs, though. Um, I like the science one and the doctor, and I, the detective one is the one I've played the least. Uh, Don is only a good doctor because you force him to be one. I guess that's true, but I'm just following the prompts. But in my mind, in my story, he's a good doctor. That's how I see him. He's still embarrassed he hasn't been able to figure out what's, what's wrong with Herb, though. He doesn't exercise because he's dead. He will be a good doctor, damn it. I haven't, I've done the acting one, I think, one time. And the paranormal. Um, I don't think I've ever done the dream home decorator one. Yeah, being a husband isn't a paying job. Actually, being a husband to Cassandra Goth is a paying job. Because he just got all that money. <laughs> Oh yeah, I bet Dina would be acting would be a good actress. 
Uh, she's in law in my game. Okay, wait, what did that say? I wasn't even paying attention. That says, um, the results of the x-ray scan indicate a possible ailment. Oh my god, okay, I think we're just gonna have to try and make a diagnosis at this point. We've been working on Herb all day. He's got a bad case of something. Alright, so once he gets back in here, what are you doing, Don? Oh, he's readmitting the patient. Okay, readmit the patient, and then let's, um, diagnose. Hold on. Let's guarantee diagnosis. He's got starry eyes. Don figured it out, y'all. Conclusive. You got a bad case of the starry eyes. Who's this over here? Oh, Remington Harris is here. Now that Don has diagnosed her Boldy's illness, they can proceed with the treatment of medication. Okay, let's let me get you your meds. Um Treat patient, treat starry eyes with meds. Don, what the heck were you doing? Don, don't just do sit-ups. Please don't just do sit-ups. Oh my god. Treat your patient. Here you go, Herb. Don's gonna give you your meds now. There you go. Go ahead, take them. <laughs> I have a bad case of diarrhea. Oh, he, he cured Herb. Good job, Don. All right. And now he's happy. He's like, yes. I got a good diagnosis. I'm doing great. It is such a Sims 4 thing to do. It really is. I need to turn off the sit-ups. Okay. So, next, um, he, we're, I guess we're going to move on to the next patient. Our workday ends at 5 p.m. But let's go ahead and start working out on, start working out on, start working on Remington Harris here. Uh, first of all, let's uh, take a swab. Took, it took him almost all day to diagnose her, but he got it done. Oh, I hate when I want to play the game and it needs updates, too. I did uh, disable autonomous push-ups and sit-ups before. Yeah, I did, but I don't think I have done it since I re-downloaded all my mods, so I need to do that again. Okay, let's go analyze uh, the patient sample. Sorry, Daniel. You're going to be sitting there for a while. Maybe the other doctor can come see you. Do I think Don marries Cassie for money or pleasure? I think a little of both. I think he does love her. He's just incapable of being um, monogamous. But he does love her. No, it does not, Hooverkins. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe it does. I don't know. I don't, yeah, actually, I mean, it might. I guess it just depends on which one is the parent. I think Don loves all his partners, too. I really do. Oh, did I hydrate? I hydrate for you. Um, G was flirting with Panya. Was he? I didn't even see it. I was looking at the chat. Yes, we will have a flop house. But it may have to be in another neighborhood. Look at Don. He got his progress all the way up today. Um, let's log the sample analysis. Oops. I, dang it. I passed it. I passed it. Log sample analysis results. I don't know if he's going to have time to get a second diagnosis today. But he's doing his best. Don's in love with love. Oh, Nina's 100% his favorite. Always. Yeah, Don's only flaw is he has too much love to give. Alright, come on. Log that analysis. Okay. And now we can scan his body. So let's go... Oh, we have a compelling diagnosis already, but let's keep going. We have a little bit more time. Scan body. Let me take a look at you. Let me take a look at you, Remington. Listen to your heartbeat. Okay, and diagnose the patient. Let's see. Ugh. How much time do we have? We still have two hours. Let's do a treadmill test on him. Uh, we're going to refer for a treadmill test. Come on. We're getting close. I I'll, I'll try a diagnosis before, after this, regardless of what the results are. 
So maybe he can get two people diagnosed today. Who's that over here? Neil Letourneau is here? He's good for a one night stand, but not long term. Yeah, I know you can stay late. I just don't like to do that. But... Maybe we'll maybe we will have him stay late just to finish this patient. Come on, come on. Inconclusive, inconclusive test. Okay, let's have him stay late, um, just so he can finish Remington. So he can finish diagnosing Remington. Remington is so cute. Um, let's let's get him back to the bed. How are we with getting Goopy Gills Carbo as the principal of Pleasant View High? I love that. I love that. It is part of being a doctor, staying late sometimes. That's true. Uh, scam by Scum Scabumbo is awesome, though. It lets you control any running autonomy, but you can do it with MCC, too. I used to do it with MCC. I remember that. I gotta figure out how to do that again. Or remember how to do that again. Okay, let's do... Uh, let's... Take his temperature, I guess, because we haven't done that. Wait, did I miss it? Uh, take temperature, because that's fast and easy. This is live, scary Marilyn. Um, okay, and let's check a patient's eyes. Check eyes. There are mods to set teachers, principals, and current students when you enter the school. Oh, see, I need to do that before we go, uh, before we go to school. We're, we're not gonna, today, well, we may actually, if we go play Dina and Mortimer today, we may actually play the school because we have Alexander. Okay, what did that say? Do we have a, ugh. It's not working. Okay, we need to give him an x-ray. We have a compelling- Oh no, we have a compelling diagnosis! He's got starry eyes. Man, starry eyes is going around. Um, this won't be on YouTube tomorrow, but it will be next week. Because what I've been doing with my- Well, I didn't do it last week, because last week was kind of rough. But, what I do is- So, I stream th Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then I upload the streams on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So, this one should be uploaded on YouTube on Wednesday. Starry eyes is the new flop pals flu. Okay, did you diagnose him? Okay, let's treat him so you can go home. Okay, he treated two patients today. That's really good. Treat starry eyes with meds. You're welcome, Danny. The starry eyes pandemic. Okay. Patient cured. Awesome. Okay, we're going home now. Leave work. 794 bucks, heck yeah! Yeah, Dawn is in the active medical career. It's awesome. Dawn the doctor man. I'm gonna hydrate from Nicola. Hydrating myself up with Diet Coke. Okay, so yeah, some of his money goes into his personal bank account. And I need to order ATM cards for them because I feel like Don would be using his personal account when he goes to take other women out on dates, you know? So let's go and let's go to SMB and let's um checking account. Let's order a debit or credit card. Okay. And let's also get one for Cassandra as well. Because she has her own personal account, too. Um, let's do SNB Bank. Oh, does she not have an account? Oh, I guess I didn't open an account for her. Okay, let's open an account for her checking account. She's definitely getting a premier checking account because she has got the money. Oh, go to Crawl's options to turn off reduced earnings since you already use it with a different mod. Okay. It, well, did, was it, how much were his earnings reduced just then? I kind of thought it was an appropriate amount of money. Maybe I'll leave them both on and see how it goes. Uh, thank you so much, Frulink, for the uh, Prime sub. I really appreciate it. I think, should they have a shared account? I don't know. 
I think I'm gonna give them their, it was 25%. I think that's good. Okay, you guys are saying no, don't let them share, okay. So this is Cassandra's premiere account. She is gonna, I'm gonna deposit like $50,000 in there. You know, why not? Uh, she gets interest on this. So actually we should, we should put more in there, I think. I think we should put more of her money in there. Let's do a transfer from this account, funds from anywhere to this account. So from Lothario household funds to Premier Checking account. What? What's it do? No, no. It's not what I was trying to do. Aw, thank you so much, Toxic. <laughs> it's hard for me to say your name. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. I can call you Kay. Okay, hello, Kay. Uh, let's do two premier checking account, right? From household funds to... Okay, I'm just clicking on something different. Okay, amount... Should I just put the whole 400,000 in there? I think I should. So she has it, right? 400,000? Submit. Yeah! And she can get interest on that. That is her money. So this 47,000 will be shared funds. And then uh, Don has his own money that, went, that he gets from his. Actually, Don brought, hold on a second here. Don brought 41,698 to the marriage. Should I put that amount in his checking account? Yes, this is my save file. Okay. You think, yes, I should give him that money? No, I think I should. I think I should let him hold on to his own money. And they're kind of like, they have split finances because I feel like Cassandra, and I might put some of her money back in cash. Um, checking account, we're gonna transfer funds from anywhere to this account from Lothario Household Funds to checking account. And he brought in um, 41,698. That way I can just keep their money separate because I know eventually they're probably gonna get a divorce. There we go. And now they have six grand in cash, and if they need more, they can take it out. I think that's fine. Oh, and I need to upgrade Dawn to a Premier account as well. Jeez. Well, hold on. We're getting our banking situated here, okay? Uh, manage accounts, checking account. I want to... How do I upgrade the Premier? Can I? Or does he already have a Premier? No, it says weekly interest rate zero. Direct deposit, transfer, customize icon, rename account. Um, sh do I have to just open a new account, I guess? I thought you could upgrade. All right, I guess I'll just open a new account. Checking account, upgrade to Premiere. And then I will do that. And then I will transfer all of his money. Oh my god, this is a pain in the ass. Uh, Hazus says, I remember when you did Chat Decides What Happens in My Game a few years ago. We had to send bits and it was so chaotic. Yes, I would love to do another one of those. I'd do one of those in, in Sims 4, yeah. From. Nope, wrong. To. Premier checking account. From. Checking account, 42549. 42.549. We're going to transfer everything over into his premier checking account so he can get interest on that. And then we're going to go back and we're going to close out his regular checking account. Delete checking account. Yes. Okay. So now he also has premier and then... I want to put that $500 back. So one more thing here. Transfer funds from anywhere to this account. To this, from this account to anywhere else. From there to household funds, uh, 500. We got to do all this money stuff with them. Okay, done. And then the last thing I have left to do is set up Cassandra's direct deposit before she gets home from work. So let's set her up. Um, we made her account. 
but I'm going to set up direct deposit and for her career and 80% is going to go into her direct deposit and 20% will go into the household funds. Okay, perfect. Okay, and thank you so much, Golden Breath 99 for the two-month Prime sub, or the four-month Prime sub. Thank you so much. Happy to see you streaming. Happy to see you, too. Cassandra's exhausted, y'all. Okay, so Don, um, what do we need to do now? I guess we could work on some of his wants. He wants to hug someone. He wants to go rock climbing. And he wants to flirt with someone. Well, I don't think you can really do any of those things right now, Don. Oh, I should save. Thank you. The Spice Festival's in town. Yes, I saved game for you guys. Thank you. Um, cheerleading? No, Don, you cannot go to the cheerleading day. <laughs> That's creepy. Uh, okay. Now, he could go rock climbing. I don't think I have a rock climbing wall anywhere. So, uh, the cheerleading thing, he would totally go, I know. Let's see. He's trying to go play chess. All right. That's fine. Let's check out his work progress, too. So, yeah, I think making $64 an hour is good for him at this at this junction. I think I'm just going to keep it like that. Oh, you create... I did not see a radio station moon work. I'm sorry. Oh, you did. Scary station, scary music. Okay, hold on. I don't think they have a radio. Let's buy them a, a stereo and we'll turn the music on. Oops. If I can spell it right. Stereo. Um, I want to buy them something kind of nice. Let's see. Or I kind of, I wanted to buy them. Where's the old like phonograph? There it is. Old fashioned music player. I wish I could put it on the fireplace. Oh, well, I'll just buy a regular stereo and put it over here. There we go. All right, Dawn, turn it on to... What's the scary station? Tell me if I... Oh, Spooky. Turn it on to Spooky. I think Cassandra doesn't like Spooky music. We'll see. Yeah, the, when the lag happens, I usually delete all the notifications, and it usually fixes it. Yeah. Can you hear the music? I can't hear it. I gotta turn it up on my end. Okay, now I can hear it. I don't know. Should I do it? Should I delete this radio and get the old fashioned one? Let me turn it up a little bit for you. Is that better? Oh, Cassandra needs a new challenge at work. How does she ask the boss? Okay, I gotta roll for this. I'm gonna go to random.org and I'm gonna roll one through a hundred. And if it's under 50, we'll choose the first one. If it's over 50, we'll choose the second one. And I rolled an 87, so she's going to demand a challenge. And she started bu building fledgling entrepreneur skills through hustling to build the skill fame awaits. Cassandra stepped into the boss office, slammed her fist on the table, and demands a challenge. She demands it. Performance game medium. Awesome. Since for rent, you have to restart? Really? We're going to get a pop-up Don's like spooky music. Let me look at his likes real quick. What kind of music does he like? I forgot. He likes uh, electronica and romance. It says he dislikes spooky. He dislikes spooky music. Yeah, he's not liking it. He's not liking it. Maybe you'll change his mind. Maybe it'll grow on him. Okay, does he have any new wants besides hug and flirt and go rock climbing? No. Uh, I guess we need to make, like, a fitness lot. I'm, I, I want to make the gym from The Sims 2. Uh, so, and I can put a rock climbing wall in there. So maybe that's another project I'll work on soon. So that um, our fitness sims have a place to go. She would have spent hours working up the courage to make a demand. I know. 
The Hobby Lot. The gym Hobby Lot from The Sims 2. Okay. Oh my god, Kaylin! <gasps> hey, if no one told you yet, the Spice Festival is a great place to get free fruit. Come with me. Okay, he's gotta go. He's going to the Spice Festival with Kaylin, y'all. Sorry, Cassandra. Cassandra's at work. He's going to the Spice Festival. She's gonna be home soon. And he's not gonna be home. <laughs> yes, if you leave the stream, you will still get your prediction points. I believe so. You should. Okay, yeah, Don will just tell her he's stuck at work exactly. See, that's the good thing about Don being a doctor. He can say that he has to stay late at work because there was an emergency at the hospital. And Cassandra will always believe him. And that's kind of sad, but, you know, that's what he does. All right, so let's see who's here. Comey Tellerman, uh, Mary Sue. Uh, Don and Mary Sue are enemies? Okay. Uh, Darren Dreamer's also his enemy. Uh, Erica's here and Remington Harris. Okay, so the first thing Don wants to do here is ask about local cuisine. He wants to flirt with someone and hug someone. So he's going to get busy on that. Um, we're going to flirt. And we're going to hug. So I downloaded the uh, the better pie menu, but I don't, or smarter pie menu. And it's supposed to have a search. How does that work? Because I'm not seeing a search. Uh, romance, physical intimacy. She not hug? Where's hug? Oh, affection? Nope. Okay, maybe it's under friendly. Um, affection hug. Yeah. Oh, you just start typing. That's it. Okay. I'll try that next time. It's happy hour at the karaoke bar, y'all. Okay. He wants to ask Kaylin on a date. All right. Let's ask her on a date now. Um, romance or no, where's ask on a date? Maybe it is romance. Affection. Oh, I, gosh, I can ask. I can just type. Okay, I see. Ask on date. Can't start date. Oh, we're in another event. Okay, we're in another event, so we can't do it. He wants to become disliked by Darren. And now he wants to go snowboarding and go rock climbing. So we can't really do any of those. Uh, but we can get some food. Do, did anybody show up at the stalls? Nope. For some reason, the stalls are not working. Can we reset objects? Will that help? Oh my gosh, Toxis! Thank you so much for gifting five subs. Thank you for gifting a sub to Gazorper, Cindersap Forest, Edwina42, Nales, or Nalees. And everything bagel X. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so kind of you and so generous. Oh, radio station R and B. Okay, we'll change it when we get back. It's a Sims 4 bug. Man, why I that sucks. What festival people? Is he is he farting right now? Is Comey Tellerman letting one loose right now? I think he is. Um, no, I do not have opt-out of fame checked. No. I do not. Dagmar Bertino's here. Daniel Pleasant and Mary Sue are, 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 um, not Mary Sue, Brandy are chatting over here. Jennifer, Bur or Ivy Coper. That's not Jennifer Burb. That's Ivy Coper. And this dude is still hanging around, man. I, I guess I'm just gonna let him in at this point. All right, that sucks that they cannot get food. Maybe he can get food in the bar. So... Let's go in here. And we have no bartenders. Great. Yeah, I guess we'll give it a minute. Opt out of fame is unchecked. Yeah, that's not the problem. This really sucks. 
There's free food on the tables. Okay, let's go get some of that then. Um, let's go grab a serving together. Sample food at festival. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. That was like the whole goal of this is to sample the free food. <laughs> yes, the bartender NPC sims are assigned to their roles, but I don't think I assigned them. I only assigned them to the bar in Pleasant View, so that's probably the re the problem. But it's supposed to still fill it with um NPC with like townie sims. Like, the rolls are still supposed to be filled by townie sims. Alright, Dawn, have yourself a sauce- a merguez. 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 It looks like Dawn isn't used to eating spicy food. With time and practice, he will be able to eat, it, to eat the spiciest foods around. Like, some kind of spice hound. Um... I don't think it's NPCC because I turned off not to generate new sims. So, I don't know. I've got to figure this out. What I might do is do some testing um, by, like, taking out all mods and then, like, slowly putting them back in and seeing which one. Aw, thank you so much, Retro Vampire, for gifting five subs. I really appreciate that. That's so kind and generous of you. Thank you for gifting subs to uh, Kadena, Ellie Rain, Miss Howdy, Junior Massa, and Clumsy Chaos. Thank you so much. And also... Thank you for the two-month Prime sub. <laughs> I don't know how he can't handle spice. He's not used to it. He's complimenting Kaylin's appearance. She's like, you look so good. You know what? Let's change Kaylin's outerwear, y'all, because it's horrible. It's horrible. Let's, uh, let me take her into MC Command Center. And let's, let's change her outerwear. Because all of the Sims in this save file have terrible outerwear because I was using base game only. And there just wasn't much to choose from, you know? So let's do, and what's up with her? She doesn't have any makeup on either. We'll do her makeup real quick. For her outerwear. Um, uh, no. <laughs> I'll give her that, and I'll give her some blush and I'll give her some lipstick. No, that's too dark for her. That's too dark. Let's give her like that one. There we go. And then let's give her a coat of some sort. Um, how about that one? And that's better. And then let's give her like some different boots, I think though. Yeah, she's classy. Let's give her some... Those boots, yeah. That's much better! <clears throat> you love Sims 4 Create a Sim, yeah. Hello, you stupid turlet! <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Zombie Queen 9276 for the two-month Prime sub. Thank you so much, I just noticed that. <clears throat> The festival merge glitch is fixed by staying until the end until all the objects disappear. Oh. Okay. Don wants to show Kaylin his chili pepper at the Spice Festival. <laughs> and he wants to order food from a market stall, but he can't because there are no market stalls. What's he going to do? Get some water. He's like, man, I got to get some water now that spicy food is killing me. Who's that? Who are you? Dagmar Bertino. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get some water. Aw, thank you, Zombie Queen. I appreciate that. Thank you for the sub. It's the saddest festival. Daniel Pleasant has identified the perch. I don't give a crap. Nobody cares. Use the bathroom, too, while you're in here, Don. Um, he has to pee, and... Well, he was uncomfortable from the spicy burn, but he's getting over it now that he got some water. Oh, that, that want went away, and now he wants to grill food. Well, you can grill food when you get back home, buddy. Um, he's getting pretty tired, though. He's Wait, he did sample a food. Why did that not count as sampling a food? Oh, so because we didn't choose sample food? Oh. Don't, don't sleep on a park bench, all right? Come on. 
Doesn't water make the burning from spice worse? I mean, I think so in real life. He's not even hungry. That's okay. Sample this food. You t talking to uh, Comey Tellerman there? Oh, he's like, I hate spooky music. That's what he's talking about. Don't talk to me about spooky music. It sucks. Uh, Don embraces the ordinary and likes small talk. All right, yeah. Don likes small talk. That's cool. This terrible date is just karma. I know. Okay, he's sampling. He's sampled. That counted as a food sample. I don't even know where Kaylin even is. Oh my god, he's sleeping on a. He's sleeping on a bench. Okay, he's getting tired, y'all. I think he's gonna end this. I don't even know where Kaylin even went. Like, where- she was supposed to come sample food with him. I don't- is she even still here? Like, I don't even know- I think she's gone. I think she's gone at this point. Alright. Don's exhausted and he can't find his date, so he's going home. Yes. Let's go back home. You have a mod where Sims can choose their preferences in-game themselves? Uh, I like them- I like them to develop their preferences, personally. Through gameplay is the way I like to do it. Do you have lifespans on long? No, lifespans are just on regular. But my sims only age when I'm playing them. Oh, that's what it does? Well, that's what it- that's how- maybe I have the same mod because that's how mine works. Uh, okay. So, are you talking about the Missy Hissy mod? That's the hobby one. Uh, okay. Dawn's home, and he's gotta go to bed, and let's check out Cassandra. Oh, Cassandra wants to... Let's have them try for baby before he goes to bed. She wants to get some sleep, too. Oh my god, her motives are so low. Never mind. They'll try tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure... Uh, her cycle starts very soon, so I don't think they're- I don't know if they're gonna have a baby or not, y'all. Unless she miraculously got pregnant last time. And I'm gonna have her take a fertility awareness test. After she got- I should have had her do it right now while she used the bathroom. Let's take a fertility awareness test. Kayla's so boring, he fell asleep. Kayla disappeared, I don't know where she went. All right, wash your hands and then do it again. Take the fertility awareness test. Um, she has a 0% chance of becoming pregnant right now. Zero! And I hope that's just because of where she is in her cycle. The Tharaho has a really cool mod called Automatic Preferences where the likes and dislikes get auto-assigned through gameplay instead of a pop-up where you have to choose the outcome. Oh... I like that. Oh, that's the one, Sammy. That's the one you're talking about. Oh, yeah, okay. I like that idea. I I didn't understand what you were say what you were saying, but yeah, yeah, I really like that idea. I need to check that out. Oh, yeah. She so she's currently a day 8 of 8 of her cycle. Next period starts in, so her period's about to start today, yeah. So, I don't think we're going to have a baby. I hope she's not infertile. I think it's just because of where she is in her cycle, y'all. Uh, thank you so much, Rick Santos, for the three-month Prime sub. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, I'll check that mod out. Yeah, for sure. So, we need to- she needs to eat. You need to eat. She's gonna, um, go have a quick meal, because she's super hungry. Let's go have a quick meal. And I still don't know if the maid's gonna come, because they're never home. D is Cass does Cassandra have work tomorrow? No, she doesn't go- oh, tomorrow's Saturday. So, she and Dawn are both off tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah, the time before and during the period is most unlikely time to get pregnant, yeah. Oh, they can definitely afford IVF if they need it. Okay, now she needs to do something fun and she wants to look through a telescope. So, let's have her go up to the uh, roof and look through the telescope. Um, stargaze. Yeah, let's go stargazing. Yeah, sometimes your mods are like, oh, I like this idea, and you never realize you have them. I know, I'm sure I have mods like that, that are doing things in the game, and I don't even realize it. Alright, so she's gaining logic skill, looking through the telescope out here. She's got a nice view. 
a nice view of the starry sky out there. Yeah, uh, fridge in this game, fridges in this game are a bit small, and I didn't even think about sizing it up. That's a great idea, you stupid turlet. That's a great idea, you stupid turlet. <laughs> Midiar Sim says my mod also does something like that, but when they choose their aspirations and other life and other life changes, it comes with an all-around aspiration rework and compatibility with lifetime aspirations. I might be biased though because I made it. Working on it right now, it's called Better Sims. That sounds awesome. A night view right into Daniel Pleasant's bedroom. <laughs> yes! That is that is Daniel and Mary Sue's bedroom right there. You can see right inside. <laughs> this house over here is the house that I usually move Alex and Lucy into when they get married. Okay, is her fun her fun's going up slowly. She's up super late though. She must have taken a nap when she got home. I know I laugh every time I say their username too. Oh, she, she got her uh, logic skill up and now she wants to read a book, but she's feeling pretty tired. So let's have her go ahead and go to sleep. It's already one in the morning. She's been stargazing all night. Oh my God. No, Cassandra, that's not your bed. What the heck? No, don't sleep in there. What's wrong with you? You sleep in here. Hold on. Let me assign right side of bed to Cassandra and assign left side of bed to Dawn. Jeez. Where's Dawn sleeping? Oh my god, Dawn. No. Get up and go sleep. Sleep in your respective beds. What does he- he has a want for Cassandra. He wants to try for baby too! Oh my god, they both want to try for baby! Okay, Cassandra's going to sleep now. No, sleep here! Did I have did I have her sleep in the wrong side? Dang it. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay, let me save as well. They both want to try for baby, but they have to wait for like six more days for Cassandra's cycle. That sucks. But they will have children. I'm not capping them out on children in The Sims 4 because I use the period mod. So, like the menstrual cycle mod so it's going to be a lot more children are going to be a lot more infrequent because it depends on their cycle and everything so i'm not going to cap them <laughs> the sims where your period lasts for six years but another thing i don't do is i don't modify the ages either in the sims 4 i just let them um also i'm going to change cassandra's hobby because i just tinkering just i don't think it suits her um, so like they're, what am I trying to say? Like their ages, Cassandra has 24 days until she's an adult. So she has plenty of time. Plenty of time. She would be happy to have a child right now and Dawn. We gotta change Dawn's want because he wants to try for a baby. If they want to try for a baby, then I change their want and I'll do it when he wakes up. Their want to have a child. You've been watching me since high school? Aww. It's the first time anybody's ever said that. <laughs> Hobby being blind in love. So they are both off tomorrow, so that's good. We can do some other stuff with them. She loves to fix broken turlets and program. Yeah, maybe I'll just leave her with tinkering then. Maybe I'll just leave her with tinkering. Okay, so Dawn, go get something to eat. Oh, gross, Dawn! That was the morning thunder he just let go. <laughs> You've been watching since you were born. <laughs> what are you, five years old now? <laughs> yeah, I like, I think painting suits her better too, especially since there is an easel here, but I don't know. Maybe science would be a better hobby for her because she likes to look through the telescope and play chess and do stuff like that. Like, you gave her tink tinkering and science? That's a good idea. Okay, so she needs to wake up too and go get something to eat. Let's go get some food. Oh no, she's on her period. We and I didn't get her any stuff. I didn't get her any supplies. All right, go. Hold up. Hold up. One thing at a time. Go to the wonderful store. Get yourself some supplies. Then come home and wash yourself. Her panties are dirty. Ew. And she wants to level up her handiness skill too. I, now that I think about it, I think I'm going to keep her with handiness. It does kind of suit her. 
<laughs> your boyfriend hates it because you're so into your sims, I know. Okay, she's going to buy her feminine supplies. Her sanitary supplies. Dawn, did you only make food for yourself again? Of course. Of course. And we're going to see if the maid shows up today. Alright, come on. She's back. So, let's go ahead and open box. What do you have here? A book and a certificate of marriage. Oh. And unpack box. And then let's, uh, you need to go immediately and take a shower. Please take a shower. I love Wonderful Whims, Tristess. It's like one of my must-have mods. I don't think I could play without it. Oh, yes, I need to fix Dawn's want for kids. Thank you. Let's do, um, he's down here just grooving. Relationships, family, and pregnancy. Pregnancy and family. Thoughts on having children. Would be happy to have a child. Oh, Cassandra had a eureka moment in the shower. Good for her. And after that, she needs to go get some food. Or she needs to use her... Um, auto use. Realistic auto. Okay, they're already on auto use. Okay. So hopefully she'll take care of that when she gets out of the shower. She's cramping. No, don't do that. Um, go eat. She's gonna eat a bowl of peas. That's what she chose as her food. That's, uh, the... Relation... What is the name of the mod? Relationship overhaul or relationship family pregnancy over... I can't remember what it's called exactly. Somebody put it in the chat. It's, uh... It used to be called Woohoo Wellness, I think. RPO. RPO, yeah. That's what it's called. Relationship, pregnancy, something. Alright, Dawn. You need to go take a shower. You're dirty. Stop dancing. Go take a shower. He wants to flirt and become energized and clean self. Go clean self. Relationship, pre relationships, pregnancy, overhaul. That's what it is. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> overhaul. That's what the O is for. Okay, Cassandra had her peas for breakfast. And she wants to have fun. She wants to level up her handiness skill. I don't know how we can ha do that in a fun way. Can I, like, tinker with some stuff? Um... Uh... No, we need to get some parts. Oh, you gotta have level 4 handiness. Okay. Um, I guess you can study handiness. Can you study it with a book? How can I get her handiness up? Have her repair or upgrade objects. She can also create objects on the woodworking table. Maybe we should buy her a woodworking table. Can I per- let's purchase books. Okay, um, skill. Let's do G-H, handiness. Let's go ahead and get her handiness level one. And where is it now? Is it in the bookshelf? Read handiness level one. Okay, there you go. I don't know if that's going to be fun for you, Cassandra, but- Start reading about handiness. She's focused. Oh, that is fun for her. Awesome. That is fun. Oh, the Dream Home Decorator TV show will gain handiness and fun? Oh, awesome. Oh, they don't, do they have a TV? They don't even have a TV. Let's buy them a TV. So, I think I'm going to put the TV where this painting is. I'm going to sell the painting. Um, because it was worth 6,400 simoleons. And let's buy them a big screen TV instead. Oh, that's way too big. This one? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Cassandra's like, I'm selling the, fairly, the family heirlooms to get some modern technology in here. Let's watch channel Dream Home Decorator Network. Come on, watch it. She's like, yeah, I like that TV. 
All right, she's going to finish her book first. And I'm starting to get lag again. Let's delete these. Don is fitness level two. What is he doing for fitness right now? I don't know what he was just doing. Um, he Let's have him flirt with Cassandra because he wants to flirt with someone. So you might as well flirt with your wife. Uh, flirtation. Flirt. A TV! Gunther would be turning in his grave! <laughs> They're old, Rich. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically HGTV is what it is. Yeah. Aww. Little flirt. What? Spooky music on again? Yeah, he doesn't like that. Turn it off. Sandra's about to watch TV anyway. Wait, did you turn it off? Yeah. Okay, they're watching the Dream Home Decorator channel together. I love that. Aww. Don's feeling inspired. Inspired to flirt. I don't know if he got his flirt in or not. The household gets less sophisticated every second Dawn is in there, I know. So, she's got a long way to go to get her handiness skill up. Dang. Or did she get it up? And start over. I don't even know. She, there, she's warming herself by the fire while she's watching the show. I know they got a stereo and a TV. Oh, she got the handiness skill. Okay. She just now. How did she. She was studying handiness. How did she not acquire the. I don't understand that. Both are just looking at their phones. Well, I mean, that's what most people do, right? She's gonna go clean up now. She's like, I've had enough of this. I want to go clean up. And then, um, I'm gonna have her watch some more of the show after she finishes cleaning that up. Come watch this! Dawn's watching it. Dawn wants to become energized. Have him work out. Maybe we should have him work out. Um, let's have him go to the bathroom. And... Can he, maybe can he can work out to the radio. So what kind of music does he like? He likes, um, I forgot. He like, oh, make him go to the gym. Yeah, let's go to the gym. That's a great idea. He likes electronic and romance. Um, let's go to the gym. Great idea. Cassandra can stay here and work on her handiness. It's a great day for Dawn to go to the gym on Saturday. Good point. Oh, I don't have a gym. <laughs> gym yet. I haven't built a gym yet. <laughs> I forgot. Um, But he could go to the pool. I am, am going to build a gym. But yeah, we'll have him go to the pool today. I need to build a gym so that our fitness sims have somewhere to go. No, nobody's going with you. I don't know how he became, like, enemies with uh, Mary Sue. That's weird. Sim City has a gym? Oh, I could have had him go there. That's okay. We'll go to the pool. Alright, let's see who shows up here. Let's have him go swim. And I'll be curious to see which sims join him here today. And Cassandra, I want to make sure she's... No, okay, that's fine. She's caring for herself. I wish I could make them study skills when I, weren't, when I wasn't with them. I'm really enjoying playing Pleasant View in The Sims 4 too, Lynn, Lynn SD. <laughs> oh, there was a radio station uh, R&B reading. Yes, there was. I'm so sorry. I'll turn it when we get back. Um... Who's that over there? Coral Oldie? Who's this? How Melon? He's everywhere. Herbal Herb Oldie is here. What's wrong, Don? Why are you uncomfortable? Poorly decorated? What? He doesn't like the aesthetics of this place. Don doesn't like it here. He's like, this place sucks. There's nothing here. <laughs> Building is so fun and easy in The Sims 4. I love building in The Sims 4. Completely agree. He decided to go play chess. Don's always playing chess. I don't know. I'm trying to make him energized. Come here and do some push-ups. And then stretch and then do some sit-ups. Just do it out here in front of the pool. 
Who's that walking by? Daniel Pleasant. I'm trying to make you energized. Who's out here? Her Mortimer Goth. Mortimer Goth is here. Dagmar Bertino is here. Is that? I think that's Jennifer Burb down there. I like to see who shows up. There are so many townies and NPCs I haven't even seen yet. Where's Sandy Broody? Where's Gilpy Goo Goopy Gills Carbo? Gilpy Goose Carbo? I called him Gilpy Goose Carbo. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can take a speedy shower. That's a good point. Uh, I can't take. I can take a quick shower. A brisk? Is it a brisk shower? Yeah, to get energized. Go take a brisk shower now and get energized. Um, I saw a kid over here. There's uh, Chandler Platts. I want Goopy and Sandy! Goopy's your receptionist and librarian. Oh, I love that. Not many Sims here at the pool today. There's a lot of Sims over there skating. I think I just saw Nina over there. Don wants to flirt. Maybe we can have him go flirt with Nina. Uh, Mary Sue is here. Who's that? Who is that? Is that? That's D. What? Hold on. What the hell is she wearing? Why does she look like that? I did not ever put that on Dina. What the heck? Why? Why is she looking like that? That's ridiculous. He would be energized. Oh, is he talking to Dagmar? Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Don's over here to- Oh, Don. Don's over here talking to Dagmar. Uh, that outfit was ridiculous. That was some kind of situation outfit. Or, or I guess maybe career outfit. But I thought I had- ch I turned off all those ridiculous situational outfits. <laughs> she got clothing advice from Mortimer. I hate those situation outfits. I thought I turned them off. Okay, he wants to flirt with someone. So let's do a pickup line on Dagmar. Let's see. Warva. <laughs> he just- Don does not like the gym, though. He does not like it. Don in his banana hammock. Is that gonna go away now? Come on. Yes. Did that didn't count as a flirt? Okay, hold on. Uh, tease flirtatiously. That- Oh, Don. Oh no! Nina's asking him on a date, but he's flirting. <laughs> he's flirting with, uh, okay. Nina's- Nina and Don are gonna go to the caboose. Oh, just always dying. That's an old rule from a long time ago when I used to stream. It just means, like, you don't want to be told what to do while you're playing. I needed to really- I need to delete that. I hate, I hate how they just teleport to the other lot, I know. Don, put your clothes on. Oh my god, he showed up in his banana hammock. Uh, let's go to Dresser and change his outfit back to every day. Jeez. Okay, so he's on a date now. He wants to have a drink. So, uh, he wants to flirt. So let's flirt. Let's see. Let's have a little flirt with Nina. Nina sensed her man meat was going around, so she called him up. Yeah. Yeah, she could feel it. Alright, and he wants to ask Nina. You're already on a date with Nina. You can't ask her on another date. He did want he did want to have a drink at the bar. So we're gonna But there's no bartender here! Damn it! Something is messed up. Can I maybe can I assign a bartender here? Assign NPC job to other sim. Let's see if I can assign one here. What is the name of this lot? The Caboose? Uh, let's see. Barista? No. Barfly regular? Where did I miss it? Okay, I missed it somewhere. Hold on. Barfly regular barista... Waiter, 
chef host. Oh, it's mixologist. Yeah. Um. Did I sign? I think I signed the bartenders to Doc Allen's hangout. So. This is the caboose. I don't, you know what? I don't even want them to go to this stupid bar. Let's, uh, go, let's travel. Let's travel to Doc Allen's. Cannot travel because the social event is active. Great. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cancel the date. And then I'm going to ask Nina on a date because that's what he wanted to do anyway. And then we're going to go to Doc Allen's. Um, oh. Ask. On. Date. Yeah, it is. Jelly Stupid is, um, yeah, it is, it is unchecked. The opt out of fame thing. Yeah, it's still not working for me. So we're going back to Pleasant View. And we're going to Doc Allen's. Hello, Sophie Sims. Okay. Now we're talking. Now the bartenders better show up. They're not here. So I know I have a bartender set for this lot. All right, let's just double check. Mixologist. Where are you? For Doc Allen's hangout. That's going to be... None of those. It's none of you. How can I pick them if they don't show up in the menu? Yeah, I will be using some of the other places. Yes, I will. Uh, user not found. There's already a mixologist hired on this lot. Okay, where? why are they not showing up though? All right, let me double check. And what day is it? Oh, it's Saturday. Um, okay, opt out of fame is unchecked, right? That's how it's supposed to be. Hmm. I don't understand it, y'all. I do not have Zerbu's or Base Mental's venue mods, no. No, I do not. Maybe give it a second, maybe they'll show up. And I also, also there's no um, DJ. I've got to figure this out, y'all, because it's really annoying. Yeah, I'm going to let it play for a bit and see if somebody shows up, but I feel like they should already be here. Mary Sue just sitting at the bar like, I'm waiting to be served. Che oh, check and uncheck it? That fixed for you? Okay, let me try that. Gameplay or pack settings, check it and apply. Okay. Then uncheck it and apply. Alright, we'll see if that works. I don't know if it'll work now since they're already here. Oh, it needs to be checked? I thought it had to be unchecked. Does it need to be checked or unchecked? Y'all, I thought it had to be unchecked. Do I have it wrong and it needs to be checked? It has to be checked. Oh, God. Okay, I thought it had to be unchecked. Okay, let me check it. And now maybe they need to leave and come back. And they can't leave. Can we... Can we go somewhere else? Um... 
yours is unchecked and your NPCs are working. Some people are saying unchecked. I, well, unchecked obviously is not working for me. So crap. I don't know. I'm, ha I'm having no NPCs. The only NPCs that worked were at the ho uh, hospital lot. That's it. I don't understand. And it, and it was doing this even when I had NPCC taken out. Okay, Jelly Soup says it has to be checked. Let the game run and a bartender should come soon. Alright, let's see. Hopefully. Uh, social They've already socialized 10 out of 10 times? Sit and talk together after she gets out of the bathroom. Come on, Dawn. So far, no bartender. Who's that down there? Dina Goth. Oh, I hope Dina doesn't come in here. Um, he wants to start a new relationship. Oh my god, okay. I don't think you can really... St can you have more than one relationship? I don't even know. Ask to be girlfriend? Ask, D ask Nina to be your side piece girlfriend. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. Nina just became the girlfriend of Don. Well, that's what he wanted. He still wants to get energized. He wants to have a drink at the bar, but he can't. Maybe I need to reload the lot or something. Um... Carson says, even when I play with no mods, the bartenders don't show up sometimes. In public with the side is a new level of audacity, I know. No, it won't let me hire one because it says there's already a mixologist hired on this lot. Because I've already set the mixologist for this lot. We also don't have a DJ. Um, that should be showing up here. Okay, let's go somewhere. Let's use the phone then to go somewhere else. What can I do? Travel? It won't let me travel. Entertainment? No. Why can't I? Why can I not leave? You needed to restart? Okay. Uh... Jenny99 says, I'm so glad they want to roll out a fix for this bug next week. It's the worst. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Can't travel unless you end the date. Okay, well, I, what I'm going to do is... I wonder if I restart the game. I have NPCC... Hey, Mary, I have NPCC installed and I did what you said. Like, I turned off the... Or I unchecked the create new... Create new Sims. And it's still not working for me. Some people are telling me the Get Famous object has option has to be unchecked, and some people are telling me it has to be checked. So, okay, I'm going to save real quick, and let's... I'm going to restart the game. And well, you had to leave the lot, save, and restart the game. Okay, Dawn, I'm sorry. we got to end this date, okay? Because we got to get this figured out. I'm sorry. Well, you got to go home. You can ask, D you can ask uh, Nina out again later. Sucks. I wanted to. I just. I gotta figure this out. You had to have the setting that they can get famous. If it's checked, it won't work. That's a current bug. Okay. Checking it disables fame. I don't know. Some people are saying check it, and some people are saying uncheck it. I don't know which one is right. Get Carl's dine out overhaul too. It might help. Okay. I will. Alright, let's save. Yeah, so in the menu it says... Um, um, it says, begin opted out of fame. So I get that, but what I'm saying is, do I need to check it or not check it? <laughs> I don't know. 
so what I'm going to do now, so unchecked, it wasn't working. So now I'm going to try checking it, and I'm going to try restarting the game. And going back to the lot and see if that works. Okay, let's start over. And if that doesn't work, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to wait for a fix. Or try the dine out. Uh, we could try the dine out mod. Danny says, does anyone have a mod that makes the pie menus go back to how they used to be? Even with the search menu, they're a nightmare. I don't know of any. Maybe somebody in chat will know. Jenny says, unchecking it worked for her. Mine was unchecked and it wasn't working. So I'm going to try checked. And let's see. Come on. Oh. Either way, the fame option is bugged. Yeah, it's something to do with that. I got a hydrate from Velada. Let me hydrate with my watered down Diet Coke. Um, we're gonna see, we're gonna see if this fixes it. I don't know. I'm gonna have Dawn go back to Doc Allen's real quick. Cause I have definitely assigned bartenders to Doc Allen's. I think. I hope I did. Well, it said there was one hired for that lot, so uh, let's resume playing Dawn. <laughs> Can't believe Don already getting a girl. Nina's Don's girlfriend, but he's already married. He's married and has a girlfriend. That's Don for you. You gave your dog a bath and she hates it. <laughs> My dogs hate being bathed too, but I take them to the groomer. All right, Don. Now let's travel. Um. To Doc Allen's. Nina can come too, since we didn't really get to finish our date. Let's see if this works, y'all. Please work, please work. It did not. Unless a bartender, like, comes in, maybe, in a minute. But, looks like, no. Looks like either checked or unchecked, it still does not work. So my next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go back to, to pack settings. We're gonna uncheck it, apply changes. We're gonna leave the lot. Okay, I know, I know you wanna, okay, just go ahead and kiss her first. Give her a kiss. At least let you get a little action here. The EA forum says unchecked. Okay, so I unchecked it. He wants to woohoo with Nina. He no longer wants to try for a baby. Dang it. Uh, woohoo with Nina. Okay, let's get our woohoo on here then. Mary Sue's back at the bar again. Woohoo with Nina. We'll at least do that much. Even though there's nobody working at the bar, we'll just go back there and use the hot tub. <laughs> yeah, Nina turned his head. She's non-committal. We already know that. So is Dawn. Wait, did they woo- Are they woohooing? What happened? Wait, what happened to the woohoo? That's weird. Hold on, let's try that again. I don't know what happened. Romance? Dawn is already married. Uh, physical intimacy? No? What the heck? Why? I don't understand. Or is it because they're like not technically in here? Go here together. The last time you tried to make your Sims woohoo, they chatted about the weather and totally ignored you. I did. Oh, she said no. Oh, she maybe she said no. Oh. 
And now he can't, doesn't even have the option. Did she leave? She left. Never mind. She she's like, no thanks. I'm out of here, Don. I don't want to woo with you in the hot tub. I'm gone. Okay, so I'm gonna send him home anyway. She left. That's so funny. <laughs> Click on the hot dog. I tried that. See, there's no NPC at the little food stand either. Dang it. Don got rejected. Nina's like, I'm not in the mood for that. Okay, so Dawn's going home. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there are so many that assigning them manually gets very tedious. But I have it set to where it should use my ta my townies for those roles. That's what I wanted it to do. But it's for some reason, it's not working. Okay, now I'm going to save and restart again. And we're going to see if this makes a difference. I mean, there's definitely something causing it. Uh, thank you so much, Danny, for the tier one sub. I really appreciate that. So give me just one second, y'all, to restart again. We're going to try one more time. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to quit trying for now. And I'll just try to figure it out on my own. I took NPCC out and it didn't, it didn't fix it. Um, so now that I have the thing unchecked, actually, let me go ahead and take out NPCC again. And just to make sure that that's not causing it. So real quick, I'm just going to take that out of my mods folder. Because I don't really need it since I already have everything set. Uh, Alright. And let's restart the game now. So NPCC is completely gone. I have unchecked the fame thing. Oh, 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 I need to get the dine out thing. Dang it. I already restarted the game, but let me uh, grab it real quick. Let me grab it real quick. Dine out reloaded. Okay, hold on, y'all. I don't think it has anything to do with MCCC. Mm -mm. You got Gary Hyatt as the mixologist and Benjamin Long as the DJ? See, that's how it should be working. It's just that MPCC hasn't been updated recently, so I think it's probably... It's it's broken. It works for some things. Like, you can still use it to assign NPC roles and then take it out. That's what I did. Um, okay, let me exit real quick. And put this Carl's Dine Out mod in as well. And then hopefully this will have this fixed, y'all. Um, let's see. Electronic Arts, Sims 4, Mods. Where's my Carl folder? Okay, putting dine in, putting the dine in fix in. And now we're going back in, y'all. Last time, we're going back in. Let's we'll see if this does it. For Steffery says, I have the mod and Townie show up as the mixologist and DJ. Dang it. I don't know why it's not working for me. Sims 4 does start and close fast. That's true. It's no big deal. It's not like The Sims 2 where it takes like 10 minutes. Uh, okay, so let's let's resume our game here. Uh, I'm trying to fix the bug where no NPCs are showing up on community lots as like bartenders and DJs and stuff. Is there a new version of what mod, Pinkie Pie? NPCC? Because no. No, there's not a new version of NPCC. It's still outdated, but I did. I took out NPCC and I unchecked the fame thing. Yeah, I might have to try better exceptions. Nah, it doesn't. It's perfectly fine to use NPCC to set to assign your NPCs because that's the only function you're using of it. But if you leave it in after that, some people have issues. I don't even know for sure if that's what's causing the issues in mine. Okay, let's try this one time. One more time. Let's go back to 
to Doc Ellen's hangout and let's take Nina with us again. I don't know if she'll stay this time. She was she was not down really. She was not really down for it last time. Nathan says his NPCC works totally. And I thought mine was too. It could be that I have a conflict or something. I don't know. Okay, still no bartender, y'all. I don't know why. I don't understand. I'm giving it a second, but I don't think anybody's coming. So it doesn't have anything to do with the fame being checked or unchecked. And it doesn't have anything to do with NPCC being here. And if I click here, it says there's already a mixologist hired on the slot. So... I really don't know. Oh, my grocery order is ready to pick up. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore, so I'll try to figure it out on my own. Uh, oh, hello. Hello, Mortimer God. So, Dawn has no wants? What the heck? Oh, there they are. Go diving, be become enemies with Darren, and have a public woohoo. Okay, let's ask Nina again if she will have a public woohoo. Let's see. Romance. Physical intimacy. It's not under there. Is it under? Where? Why? Why can't he ask her? Okay. Woohoo with Nina. Let's see. Is he asking her? No, he's just flirting. Why will they not woohoo in the hot tub? He wants to ask her. Let's ask her on a date. Again. Romance. I don't know what it's under. Ask on date. I don't. He didn't reject. She didn't. He didn't even ask her. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, Carson. I'm going to take all my mods out and see if it's still happening. We're going to have a date at Doc Allen's. Um, so f I really love the milestones and growing together, Danny. Like, I have not played with the infants yet, but the milestones are great. Okay, let's try this. Woohoo with Nina now. It's like it's not even working. Let's uh, go here together. Go back here first. What's the problem? Can they not get back there? What's the deal? Go here. Okay, something's wrong with the lot. He can't get... Oh, there's something wrong with the stairs. Jeez, the stairs are like... What the heck is that? Hold on. I thought I had fixed this issue. I was having this issue when I was building it. Uh, but I thought I fixed it. So if you download this lot and you have this issue, you might have to replace the stairs. I don't know why they did that. I think it's because I put the stage right here. That's when I started having issues with it. So you may have to restart the- replace the stairs if you're having an issue there. Okay, so I think that was the problem right there. Woo now let's see if you could- they couldn't get back there. Yeah, that was it. Come on. He's asking her right there. Get back here and woohoo! There we go. Stairs were screwed up. I thought I fixed it! Yeah, milestones are the closest thing to Sims 2 memories, yeah. Maybe a bartender will show up now? Maybe. Yes, it's a risky woohoo. It's a risky woohoo. I don't know where Nina is in her cycle right now, but it's a risky woohoo. <laughs> they look like shrimps under the water. <laughs> All I see is love. <laughs> no, if Nina gets pregnant instead of Cassandra, you don't gain your points, but we won't know if Nina got pregnant until we play her. I'm hoping for a Dawn and Nina baby, too. What is he embarrassed about? Oh, somebody saw them? Who saw them? I didn't know anybody came out here. Oh, I want to get a screenshot. <laughs> oh yeah, Twitch is great, Danny. 
Oh, this is gonna be my- I gotta do a thumbnail right here. Don getting caught. Not getting caught. Don cheating. Cheating with his new girlfriend. Okay, so let's uh, get some food, I guess. He's pretty hungry. He wants, to, he wants to have a drink, but he can't have a drink because we don't have any bartenders. I am going to, I'm determined to fix this, y'all. I will have this fixed by the next stream, I hope. Who's that? Oh, Darren. He hates Darren. He wants to become enemies with Darren. Here, come grill some food. Grill some, I don't know. Hot dogs for 88 simoleons. Oh, I can ask her about her fertility. That's true. Well, that's okay. I'd rather be surprised. <laughs> I gotta save game. It's singles night. It's singles night at the bar that has no entertainment and no bartenders. Great. Great. Eat, Don. Their date sucks. Sit together. Get over here and sit. Okay, now. Grab a serving. Or I should have said grab a serving together, but that's okay. Grab a serving together. Get over here. They're sitting and chatting. Does that count? Uh, friendly... Compliments. Be flattering. Does that count as a chat? Yeah. They've done no flirts. Ask risque question. Does that count as a flirt? Oh! NPCC is still showing up. What the heck? Let me check my mods folder. Is it stuck in there forever? What the hell? I can't get rid of it? Mods? Cause I still have- what the hell? I still have it in here! I thought I- I swear I took it out! Maybe I copied? Okay, hold on. NPC tuning. Um, sim settings. Let's see. From unplayed households and other households should be used. Homeless sims should be used. Use homeless and residents for normal career. Um, maybe I should turn off fameless sims because the fame screwed up? Let me try that. I turned off do not generate new sims. Uh, thank you so much, Jesse Duel, for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Psilocyde Duck, for the nine months, uh, for the nine months at Tier 1. Thank you so much. Okay, I don't know. Maybe that will help? It's gotta be some kind of setting in there. I thought I took it all the way out. Dang it. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Oh, look at uh, look at Mortimer. He is getting down out here. Okay, let's do another flirt. I'm trying to make them have an okay date. Compliment appearance. Ilaria said I had the same problem in my game, and it was a venue mod that disallows Sims from other areas to enter the area you're in. I do have that. I do have a mod like that. I have a venue mod from Little Miss Sam. I wonder if that's the one that's doing it. Um, let me see. I ha I know I have a venue mod. I have more viable, viable venues by Little Miss Sam. Yes, Mortimer is seeing him here with, with Nina. Yes, that is definitely happening. Um, uh, that's, is weird. And he's embarrassed. I don't know. That's not good. He doesn't even care. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Ddoodle02, for the two months at Tier 1. I really appreciate that. Yes, I, I, 
I set the the bartenders already for this place, but I'm wondering if it's that. And then I also have a mod. Um, what is it called? I wonder if this mod is causing it. It's what is it? Which is the one where it's one second, y'all. It's the one where where people can't where people stay in their own zones. Uh, thank you so much, Hilly Cruz, for the three months at Tier One. I can't remember what it's called. Cut toe home regions. Yes, I have home regions. Is that the one that was causing it? I have home regions. That was the one that was call causing it for you? Okay, hold up. We're gonna take that out. I'm sorry, y'all. This is like an ex bug fix stream. I'm sorry. <clears throat> That's the one you had to take out. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try it real quick. Save and exit. Nathan doesn't have that one. That could be why yours is working, Nathan, and mine's not. Okay. Uh, let's go down... Uh, la, 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 la. I just closed out my mods like an idiot. Mods. Miscellaneous. Ho nope, it's undercut toe. Home regions. Okay, let's take that out. Alright, and let's restart again. <laughs> We're gonna get there eventually! <laughs> yes, NP- I, I forgot- I thought I took NPCC out, but it was, st it was still in there. I don't know what I did. You should start using Curse Forge for your mods. It automatically updates them. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I have used it for some. It just depends on, like, if somebody has their mods on Curse Forge, I'll download them from there. Sim Science. It's Sim Science. All right, let's resume. Good on Sims 4 being fast, though. Yeah. Oh, you meant on a previous streamer video? You know what I'm wondering? I think I might have had it in my mods folder twice. All hope is gone. I think I had it in there twice. Like, I think I had it under two different folders or something, and that's why. I, I'm taking one of them out, but I'm still leaving one in somehow. I think that's what I was doing, because I know I took it out. Nathan says not many mods are really there, but MCCC is there. Mary says some mods from Curse, For Cur Curse Forge had malware lately recently. Oh. No, I do have separate folders for uh, Random Legacy and Pleasant View. I just switch out. I, but I don't switch out the folder. I just take the mods that I need to replace in and out. Maybe this one will work. Maybe this was preventing Sims from showing up on the lots because they're out considered out of world or something. I don't know. Okay, well, there's not one here now, but maybe one will show up. Let's see. Bartender, please. I might have to reload the lot, too. Alright, what are you trying to do, Don? Oh, Don's je- He was cheating, on. Who did she just cheat? What? Did she just flirt with Mortimer or something? Oh my god. Okay, Don can- Who- What just happened? Did she just- did Mortimer just flirt with her? I don't understand. I mean, there's nobody else back here. It had to have been Mortimer. She flirted with Mortimer. Alright. That's weird. She- she had to have been. Um... I don't know. Okay, I'm done with this. We're ending this. We gotta get back to Cassandra. This is weird, anyway. Okay, go home. Go home! And I still don't know, um... That didn't seem to fix the bartender issue, but I may have to reload the lot. 
new post, post about travel. I don't know if you should really post about- I don't think Don should post about that on Social Bunny and tell everybody that he was out on a date. Doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Cursed date. Yeah, it didn't go well, but that was mostly my fault because I was doing all this testing during their date. Yeah, Cassandra might catch catch on if he starts freaking posting it on social, buddy. Uh, I just, I've got to figure out this issue with the bartender not showing up. So I think what I'm going to be spending my night doing tonight is, is just taking out my mods and put them in, putting them in one by one and going to Doc Allen's over and over again. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, Dawn, you need to go to bed. Let's check in on Cassandra. She's in here playing ch uh, playing chess. Wait, where are her wants? Oh no, she's uncomfortable because she's on her period. I guess she doesn't have any wants. No, don't go to bed. Get something to eat first. Cereal. She's going to eat cereal. She never cooks. Does she dislike cooking, I wonder? She never cooks anything. She just eats like peas and cereal. No, she doesn't mind cooking. She just doesn't want to cook. How many loading screens do you have to suffer through when you do mod by mod? I know. Or maybe I won't do mod by mod, but I'll just do like mod, like all the mods by one creator at a time. Because that's how I have them in my folders. I know, me too. I never cook. Um, when I, I live by myself and I never cook anymore. I mostly just, just eat fast food, which is not great. I just eat, like, McDonald's burgers with no bun. It's what I live on. It's my fuel. Yes, I know, Simmer Mum. Uh, we've already tried that. We've exhausted that avenue. <laughs> okay, so Cassandra's going to bed now. I'm sorry you feel uncomfortable. She's cramping. Oh, that sucks. Dawn, are you taking a nap? Don't take a nap. Go to sleep. 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 Alright. I don't know. I guess she didn't have any wants right now. I don't know where they went. That was weird. I gotta hydrate. So we didn't quite make it. Um, wait, did we make it through? Let me see. I was supposed to switch on Tuesday. No, we did not even make it through their round. So next week we will be playing Dawn and Cassandra again to finish their next two days. But it will not be a bug fix stream because I'm going to figure this out before the next stream. I'm going to figure this out. And then we'll finish Dawn and Cassandra. We'll move on to Dina and Mortimer and uh, Alexander. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here, guys. Sorry we didn't make much progress today. I've just got to fi get this figured out. Um, but thank you for joining me. We made a little bit of progress. Uh, we found out that they were are not going to have a baby this round. <laughs> and Don got himself a girlfriend on the side with Nina. And he had a little flirt with Dagmar, too. So she might be a possibility for him uh, in the future for a future date. Dagmar, I think. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Good to see. Yes, successful stream. My internet is working now, so I don't know what was going on, but it's, it appears to be fixed, so yay. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Thank you for all the subs and the gift subs. That was so kind. And the bits. Oh, the prediction. The prediction is no. <laughs> Cassandra will not get pregnant. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan and Hendrick, for modding for me. Oh, Don was a good doctor, too. Yeah, we did get some doctor gameplay in. That was fun. Don was a good doctor and got Nina as a girlfriend. That's progress, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to figure this out, y'all, and we will uh, hopefully next week we'll actually be able to go to our lots and have uh, NPCs show up. But have a great week, everybody. I will see you guys. So, tomorrow's Monday, so I'll see you on Friday. And I haven't decided what I'm going to play on Friday. I might do Test of Time on Friday instead. Uh, I will. When I find out what it is, I'll tell you what the problem is for sure. All right, guys. Have a great week. I will see you very soon. Bye.